If you ask anyone, what is the future of cars, they'll certainly say electric. Also, Tesla is at the forefront of the movement. But, what if I told you that there's another option that could be just as good or even better than battery electric vehicles? And if you could power cars with the universe's most abundant resource, with water as the only byproduct? Hydrogen fuel cells technology have shown considerable potential. Let's start by defining the term electric vehicles. There are battery-powered electric vehicle, such as Tesla's, and fuel cell electric vehicle, such as Toyota's Mirai. They're both EVs, so when you say, electric vehicle, you're referring to both. BEVs may simply be plugged into a charging station, and they use a battery to store electricity and operate the electric motor. FCEVs, on the other hand, mix hydrogen and oxygen to make electricity on demand, which then powers the car's motor. When you press on the accelerator, you are allowing hydrogen to flow from the tank and oxygen is just coming in from the intake system. Hydrogen comes in on the anode and oxygen travels to the cathode. On anode a catalyst activates the hydrogen which separates the electron, leaving you with a bunch of positively charged hydrogen ions and negatively charged electrons. These ions see the oxygen across the way and pass through the electrolyte to get there. This electrolyte is a material that allows hydrogen ions to pass through, but blocks the passage of electrons, but those electrons, they still want to get through, so they pass through a set of wires which are connected to a motor. Once they pass through the motor, they end up at the negative terminal. Here things get a little strange. Another catalyst is present at the cathode, but this one causes the ions, electrons, and oxygen to react and make water. So now you might be thinking, how do hydrogen cars stack up against their battery-powered cousins? Hydrogen automobiles have battery electric cars to beat when it comes to recharging. A Tesla can charge anywhere from 30 to 50% in 15 minutes, but a full charge will take you about an hour. Fuel cell vehicles do not require any kind of charging. The hydrogen tank can be refilled in less than 5 minutes at a hydrogen station, just like a typical car. Most battery electric cars gives you a range of 150 to 250 miles. And one of the higher-end Tesla can give you around 350 miles. However, hydrogen cars are averaging more than 300 miles. And, the 2021 Toyota Mirai XLE and Hyundai Nexo has an EPA-estimated range of more than 400 miles. But that's not to say fuel cell vehicles don't have challenges of their own. If we look at the specific energy density of hydrogen versus batteries, you will see that for hydrogen it's 35,000 watts per kilogram. And lithium-ion batteries have 200 to 300 watts at best, but the overall efficiency of hydrogen is 25 to 35 percent, whereas battery vehicles has an efficiency of 70 to 90 percent. If we do electrolysis, which is the cleanest way of getting the hydrogen, we lose 30 percent of our energy. And then we lose energy compressing the hydrogen or cooling it into liquid form to make it ready for transportation. Furthermore, there are currently just a few hydrogen filling stations. In the United States and Canada, there are a total of 53 stations, although there are more than 50,000 electric charging stations. There are over 200 hydrogen stations in Europe, and over 225,000 electric chargers. If anything is holding back the adoption of fuel cell automobiles, it's a lack of infrastructure. But, thanks to one small graph, everything may change when it comes to carrying more weight or traveling further. Fuel cells provide a significant advantage. When you add greater range to a battery electric vehicle by using a larger battery, you're also increasing weight. And there is kind of a tipping point where you're just adding more weight, without getting any extra range. As we move closer to zero emission mobility, every major truck manufacturer is developing fuel cells, so companies like Daimler, Volvo, and Mac are all focusing their efforts on fuel cell development. There are other firms like Hyperion Motors, who debuted their XP1, a hydrogen-powered electric supercar, at CES 2021. The XP1 claimed to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.2 seconds and reach a top speed of 221 miles per hour. Not only that, but it has a 1,000-mile range. This technology holds a lot of potential for the future of transportation. Some of you might be skeptical, but remember Tesla showed us electric cars can be cool and fast. Currently, firms such as Toyota, Honda, and Hyperion are attempting to do the same with hydrogen. So, what are your thoughts about the next big thing which is happening on the auto sector right now? Let us know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, support us by hitting the subscribe button. And as always, keep wondering.